Oh, this is quite hilarious. This is courtesy of No Jumper. Allegedly, um, DJ Mustard got himself in a bit of a pickle. His personal shopper ended up fleecing him for over fifty thousand dollars. Some people are saying it's, it's I estimate it as to being over a hundred thousand dollars, and this kind of went all over the timeline. People were going crazy over it. DJ Mustard stylist finessed him or personal shopper, and then you know, then more details started coming out about the case, and my perspective completely changed on it. Actually, um, it, now it's looking like it actually might have been DJ Mustard's fault in the beginning. Uh, to begin with with this whole story so this is courtesy of no jumper so dj master claims uh personal shopper stole over fifty thousand dollars and spent it on bags and shoes of course there's a picture of dj mustard looking nice and slim lost a whole bunch of weight there so it's great which is probably why he, he hired um a personal shopper stylist kind of person in the first place right because once you get fit and you start to look good in clothes or you start to look good naked the first thing you want to do is buy yourself a new wardrobe and if you're someone like DJ Mustard and you have the funds to really go ham, you get someone in, get them to buy, I don't know how it would work out, I assume they're just going to pick out loads of stuff based on your budget and then they choose what they want to wear, the rest gets returned and you just kind of, you know, keep recycling and going from there. So it's a pretty decent gig if you all things considered, right? Especially if you end up building a really strong relationship with the artist, they trust you, you trust them you have a good working relationship this could be something that could go on for years and years and you know you know sometimes especially nowadays with everybody wanting to go out of their way to really credit people and show who's in their team that's making them be the person that they're being now in front of the camera there is definitely an option for you too as well to kind of be you know a big star in your own right off the back of this and styling you know a really well-known person and making them look incredible just going to rub off well on you look at how great steve harvey's looking at the moment he hired that new guy i follow him on instagram what's his name eli or ellie or something like that right um who's friends with laurie harvey and stuff like and look how great that relationship works so it's definitely something that is coveted i'm assuming i would assume again based on what i've read so far um so yeah let's go on the next slide You've got here a screenshot of DJ Mustard kind of getting everyone's attention. Said attention to all my people who know me. I want to bring something to everyone's attention. And he added the girls rather than there. Um, Carissa Walker is a thief and a liar. She's not my stylist. She was a personal shopper for me. And Chanel Dijon. Okay, cool. We let her use a stylist word so she would get more business. But the truth is she did nothing but shop. Which, of course, is still not a bad thing because I'm assuming... You don't want people to like know that you get dressed by somebody else right you want them to just know hey she goes out and buys us a wardrobe collection of stuff and then we then decide how we're going to put it together i'll assume it continues today i found out that she ran my credit cards for over fifty thousand, buying stuff for herself purses shoes shades and other stuff i'm hot and i'm only writing this so nobody else deals with her she's bad for business have all the receipts to prove everything i paid her more than she was worth because i don't play with taking care of people that do these jobs this is fucking crazy and just wrong next screenshot we've got a receipt here um showing a run-up check i'm assuming of stuff that she probably purchased for herself um monday he said uh, can we hop on a call she said the call because no one else is involved just me to my wrongdoings you really ran okay she that's her saying can you hop on a call you really ran up my card you really crazy he said i'm so sorry truly i'm so sorry should have never got to this point my temptation ran to my attention ran to greed and i'm sorry jesus christ that's when you know you're not coming into this with good intentions anyway right the fact that you have temptations to steal stuff working with a professional client in that kind of atmosphere is just bizarre especially when you consider how close-knit things are especially i would assume in places like california right where they're basically well i'm assuming muscles base i'm assuming is there they're in atlanta one or the other they're very close-knit everyone kind of knows everybody um so again if you do a good job or a bad job it's going to be known um so imagine then going one step further and stealing from your employer um especially in this such brazen way i'm assuming probably most stylists have a thing where they maybe just you know add a couple extra things on the list of stuff that they're buying and put it away for themselves right like a little extra things here and there but not nothing crazy you don't go and buy a flopping you know um a couple of birkins for yourself right you just maybe you know it, when you bought three pairs of shoes you might add a little pair of white air force ones for yourself i'm sure some stylists do that but to run up over fifty thousand is just absolutely insane it continues here what's the next screenshot There's another screenshot here yep it says here at carissa walker it's more i just wanted to show y'all what her reply was when she got caught that was just one receipt 
I paid 50k I said 50k but she's still waiting on more receipts she ran up 15k in LV alone on herself Jesus Christ and of course people are wondering well who does what does this girl actually look like that was um styling this person and why would she do this and then there's a picture of the actual girl herself Carisha Walker I think she's gone ahead and deleted a few of these as well for Instagram so bless her in that regard again I don't get any satisfaction for this but she does dress pretty terribly from what we can see here so far right obviously a very good looking girl um keeps herself fit and stuff but that's no excuse for the clothes she puts on because usually the adage goes if you're in good shape and you're you know a good looking person it's pretty hard to dress badly right but then when you do dress badly and you've got the body to not dress badly it does show probably more than it would to anybody else and this is just diabolical she got these high heels on that don't go with anything that she's wearing these um knee pads with a smiley face on them i don't know again there's probably a lot of crude jokes involved there denim hot pants with the pockets poking out which has enough correlation to anything she's wearing and then uh, you know a crop sweatsuit with the um smiley print on the elbows i'm sure it's not capital whatever it is that's probably not prps uh booty shorts but wherever it is she just looks terrible and then i learned recently on social media that allegedly what some of these rappers are doing and these entertainers is that they're purposely hiring pretty good looking girls who kind of moonlight as stylists you know the ones that say oh, i'm a photographer right um in order to kind of of course have somebody cute next to them mm. and also give them the option if they need to to kind of go out and f you know and frolic the midnight hours with their assistant their photographer and their stylist i didn't know that's a thing so people are basically saying it's dj muscle's fault right which it always is right it always comes back to the man's fault right even though this woman basically stole money from him um he kind of you know gave her a chance which he basically said if you listen or if you agree or if you believe what he said in his statement he believed in her probably paid her more than she was actually worth because he wanted to make sure she was happy in her job and then she went and stabbed him in the back by buying a bunch of things that are probably not going to be worth that much when you haven't got the ability to make more money that's the issue once you start stealing stuff like this there's no real going back you don't suddenly turn into a humble live by your means type person she's probably been living a fancy a fantasy a fanciful life right in some respects for a very very long time and it's finally starting to catch up with her which is why you should always live within your means especially when you don't have uh many means or especially when you're working within an industry where people talk a lot and i'd imagine you know her name's probably completely sullied now off the back of this the good thing i guess if you're dj master is that this also has opportunity for other people to come up and just say hey you're giving this girl 6k i'll do it for free right i'll do it for two i'll do it for 1k per month and i'll completely kill it and i'll do the stylist job on top of it for free just to show you that i'm about this life so it's obviously a negative for him now because he's lost out a lot of money but i think long term he's definitely going to find a better stylist all in because he's gone through this experience but yeah big up um carissa is it her name is her spell name carissa c walker um hold your head up as per usual it's going to be a bit bleak for you you know usual stuff with cancer culture and stuff online you've obviously she obviously did it herself so she can't blame cancer culture but in terms of people getting outraged it shall pass by next week people will forget you even exist and then you can continue working and doing your thing but this is a big blow especially in terms of reputational damage and that's done because i don't know where else she's going to be personal shopping for people so it might kind of completely eradicate her chances of going back on you know working that field but you know how men are in it someone's gonna see her damsel in distress and want to save her so she'll probably be okay she'll probably be okay